down. And I opened my eyes in my, in my mask in the darkness uh, with my flashlight, and I saw, like, right in front of me, this huge eyeball. Imagine facing a giant eyeball as big as a dinner plate, staring at you in the pitch-dark, icy waters. This chilling sight taps into our deepest fears of the unseen dangers lurking in the ocean's shadowy depths. Joe Rogan recently shared a terrifying tale about Soviet divers who encountered the unimaginable in these unexplored waters during the Cold War. What if their discovery could turn our understanding of the world upside down? Join us as we dive into this captivating story and uncover the secrets of the ocean's darkest corners. Eyes in the Abyss. The ocean covers two thirds of our planet and holds over 95% of Earth's water, but scientists have explored only 10% of these mysterious waters. It's surprising how little we know about the ocean compared to outer space. In a discussion, it was noted that we know more about the cosmos than the ocean depths right beneath us. Joe Rogan recently shared a shocking story about what Soviet researchers found in these unknown waters. His story adds to the growing idea that our oceans could be home to not just unknown creatures, but possibly advanced civilizations. The thought that we live in the middle layer of a cosmic sandwich is humbling. So much happens above us in space, and even more is hidden beneath the ocean surface. Learning about our universe doesn't stop in space. It goes deep into the heart of our oceans too. While scientists use advanced technology to explore space, the deep ocean gets less attention, even though it may hold answers to some of our biggest questions. The reluctance to explore these areas isn't due to a lack of curiosity, but the challenges and dangers they pose. This difference in exploration has sparked many questions and inspired a quest for deeper understanding. The desire to know more pushes scientists to dive into the depths, despite knowing the ocean's unexplored areas could hide wonders both beautiful and terrifying. While we can't blame our ancestors for the ocean's unexplored mysteries, as they were focused on survival on land, our generation has the tools and technology to go where no one has gone before. This journey into the unknown is not just about discovery, but also about facing our fears and expanding human knowledge. Leaving the safety of dry land and diving into the deep ocean is a risky adventure. People have always been curious about what lies beyond what can be seen on the surface. Many have explored these depths, yet most don't finish their studies. This means that many marine creatures and other unknown entities can live in the remote parts of the ocean, far from human eyes, it's a clever way to stay hidden. Talking about these hidden creatures doesn't just refer to strange or scary animals or the amazing plants that grow deep underwater. These beings make the ocean vibrant and beautiful, but consider the possibility that even more unusual, maybe even otherworldly beings could be living there. It might seem far-fetched, but it's not entirely impossible. It gets even more interesting when you think that the darkest parts of the ocean might have advanced technologies that we don't know about yet, technologies that move at incredible speeds that scientists can't understand. One horrible example comes from the Soviet era. The Soviet military once sent a nuclear-armed submarine deep into the ocean for a routine mission, but they found something unexpected. The crew is about to discover the ocean's hidden surprises, the mysterious objects of the deep. At a depth of 850 feet, their submarine picked up signals of mysterious objects zooming by at unbelievable speeds, way faster than anything the Soviet troops had ever seen. This discovery made their mission even more nerve-wracking, but that was just the beginning of their troubles. This incident shows that the ocean can hide not just unknown creatures, but possibly advanced technology or intelligence. These forces live in the deep waters, far from human eyes and understanding. The ocean, it seems, holds much more than we might imagine, keeping its secrets beneath the waves in mystery, challenging what we believe is possible. It was a day like no other. The captain of the submarine spotted six disc-shaped objects moving toward them in a straight line. It was as if they were being controlled by something not from this world. This strange sight made everyone in the submarine nervous. The crew had no idea what these objects were or what they wanted. The situation got even stranger when the captain saw that the objects were copying the submarine's movements. When he ordered the submarine to slow down, the objects did the same. This eerie mimicry unsettled the crew, 
making them quietly pray and wonder about the nature of these silent followers. These disc-like objects, possibly controlled by beings from another world, seemed as curious about the submarine as the crew was about them. But this mutual curiosity didn't last long. Suddenly, the objects sped up and headed straight for the submarine. It became clear that they were not just drifting aimlessly, they were being directed with purpose. The captain had to make a quick decision to surface the submarine to avoid a collision. Luckily, they made it to the surface just in time. Still curious, the crew watched through the periscope as the six objects shot out of the water and disappeared into the sky at an unbelievable speed. This strange event could have been seen as just a weird incident, but the incredible speed of the objects suggested they had technology far beyond anything humans had. The crew was left with many questions. The encounter had a deep effect on them, changing how they viewed the universe. Such a close and mysterious encounter mixed fear with wonder, marking an unforgettable moment in their naval careers. The crew couldn't stop thinking about what they had seen. What could these objects be? Where did they come from? This encounter made them realize that there might be things out there far beyond human understanding. The mystery of the six discs remained unsolved, a constant reminder of the unknown. Some people started to believe there were aliens deep under a mysterious Russian lake. However, the Russian government at the time didn't think aliens were real and wanted to keep this information from the public. They were afraid that revealing this might cause panic and chaos. To prevent any trouble, they made sure the Navy personnel involved stayed quiet, insisting that aliens were just a result of overactive imaginations. This plan to deny everything worked for a while until something even more terrifying happened under Lake Baikal, leading to the loss of human lives. A group of Soviet explorers, brave enough to dive into the icy waters of Lake Baikal, made a shocking discovery. Even though the government tried to silence them, the story of what they found in the lake's mysterious depths started to spread. Lake Baikal is in southern Siberia, and it's so cold and remote, it seems like nothing could live there. It's a rift lake known for its freezing cold, huge size, and deep waters. It spreads across more than 12,000 square miles, bigger than countries like Belgium. Imagine a lake as big as a whole country. This massive lake is the seventh largest in the world, and it's also the deepest, plunging over 5,000 feet down, making it the deepest lake on Earth. Next, they face strange truths in the icy depths of Lake Baikal. Revealing Lake Baikal's hidden depths, the amount of water in Lake Baikal is just as astonishing. It holds over 5,662 cubic miles of water, which is more than 20% of all the fresh water on Earth that isn't frozen. This makes it the biggest freshwater lake by volume in the world. Its huge size and incredible depth make it a magnet for scientists and adventurers alike, who are drawn to its natural wonders and the mysteries under its icy cover. Even though it's cold and tough out there, the secrets of Lake Bacal's deep waters keep calling to the brave and curious who are eager to explore what's hidden below. Lake Bacal is unique because of its extreme conditions. Located in Siberia, this lake is so cold that only a few people visit. The water is icy, getting even colder as you go deeper. It varies a bit by location and season, but it's never warm enough to feel comfortable. In winter, temperatures can drop to a freezing 50 degrees. The lake freezes over with ice up to six feet thick, strong enough for cars to drive on, though this is very dangerous and not advised. When summer comes, the ice starts to melt, but the water remains cold at around 1.5 Xeri. The melting ice also causes stormy weather with high waves, making the lake even less welcoming for visitors. These harsh conditions are why there are no large human settlements near Lake Baikal. Instead, the lake is a haven for a wide variety of wildlife. Despite the tough climate, Lake Baikal is a biological wonder, holding more water than all the North American Great Lakes combined. It supports a huge range of life, with many species of animals and plants that have adapted to the cold. This ancient lake, around 30 million years old, is a vital natural habitat home to unique life forms that thrive in its chilly waters. Lake Baikal is one of the oldest lakes in the world, dating back thousands of years. This means it's likely home to many species, some possibly more strange than we can imagine. People say the lake might still have creatures that both scare and amaze us. 
During the Soviet times, many believed that aliens lived in the deep waters of Lake Baikal. Some even thought there was an alien base hidden under the lake, an idea that Joe Rogan suggested might be true. He hinted that these extraterrestrials could be living quietly beneath the lake, a place few humans dare to go. The great depth of Lake Baikal, mostly avoided by people, provided an ideal hiding spot for these beings. But the calm of these depths was disrupted around 2009, when rumors started about secret Soviet documents being found. These papers supposedly described a strange encounter under Lake Baikal's icy surface in 1982, almost 10 years before the Soviet Union collapsed. The Soviet government, controlling such information strictly, dismissed the event as mere propaganda. They thought revealing such details would be too disturbing for the public. However, the truth came out eventually. According to the uncovered documents, a group of Russian Navy divers was doing training exercises in Lake Baikal. None of them expected their routine dive to turn into a terrifying encounter with the unknown. As they went deeper into the freezing waters, everything seemed normal until they reached further down into the lake. There, the divers saw strange humanoid figures. These beings, unlike any known creatures, seemed perfectly suited to the lake's cold, dark depths, adding some credibility to the stories of alien inhabitants. This encounter, though initially kept secret, sparked a lot of curiosity and speculation, changing how we think about what might be hiding in the uncharted waters of Earth's ancient lakes. The mystery grows as the crew encounters unexplained beings, silver specters of the deep. At noon, naval officers encountered beings that were hard to explain. These beings wore shiny silver outfits that didn't look like any modern diving gear. The officers were surprised to see these beings moving through deep waters easily, without using any usual diving equipment like oxygen tanks or scuba gear. These human-like forms moved through the depths as if it were normal for them, suggesting they were more than just humans. These beings were later called the lake ball swimmers by the officers after a second, scarier encounter. At first, seeing these strange figures made the crew hurry back to the surface for safety. Once they were out of the water, they told their captain about the creepy experience, thinking they had left the beings behind. But their relief didn't last long. The captain, not scared by the crew's story, picked seven of his best men for a daring mission back into the lake. Their new goal was not just to explore, but to catch one of these amazing beings. This task seemed doable to the captain at first, but quickly turned out to be a bad idea. Following orders, the chosen officers dove back into the dark waters of Lake Bal. After hours of searching, they found the beings, who were nine feet tall, much bigger than the men. The officers, perhaps too hopeful, thought catching one would be like catching a big sea animal. Armed with special gear, they tried to trap one of these strong creatures. During the encounter, the truth hit them. The being's easy escape and the hints of advanced technology made the officers realize something shocking. These beings were not from this world. The mission to capture one turned into a deep understanding of their presence, changing what the officers thought about what lives in the depths of Lake Baal. In the early 1980s, during a secret mission in Lake Baikal, a group of Russian naval officers experienced something unexpected. While diving deep into the lake, they saw a strange creature holding a metallic device. When this device was turned on, it caused a big disturbance in the water, catching the officers off guard. Suddenly, magnetic waves surrounded them, pushing them quickly from the deep water to the surface. This fast rise from thousands of feet below led to serious health problems for the divers. As they reached the surface, they struggled to breathe, and a medical team was there to help. Despite quick aid, three divers died before getting proper treatment. The four survivors were badly injured and needed a long time to recover from the scary event. This terrifying incident was kept secret by the Russian government for many years. The authorities said the survivors were too traumatized to clearly talk about what happened. There were rumors about aliens, but the government dismissed these to prevent panic and disbelief. Back then, the idea of alien life was controversial and mostly rejected by the public. People imagined aliens with rockets and spaceships not creatures living in our oceans. Had the Soviet government revealed an encounter with underwater aliens, it might have seemed ridiculous, as if they had lost their sense of reality. So they chose to stay silent to protect people from a truth that was too strange and scary to accept. Aliens, possibly smarter than us. 
not in outer space, but right here on Earth, deep in Lake Baikal. Humans have always been fascinated by the stars, dreaming of finding alien life in the vastness of space. But what if these aliens are already here, not in the sky, but in the waters below us? Imagine this, while we go about our daily lives unaware and unbothered, visitors from another world might be watching us from their underwater hideouts. They've picked the least expected places to settle, deep in Earth's waters, far from our eyes. It's a smart choice. Take Lake Baikal in Siberia, for example. This ancient, massive lake is not just any body of water. Its great depth and size make it a perfect hiding spot. Aliens here have found a sanctuary where they rarely come into contact with humans. In fact, the only known encounter happened back in Soviet times. While scientists focus on space travel and finding extraterrestrials in the stars, they've missed those possibly hiding in Lake Baikal's chilly depths. These beings have cleverly turned the tables on us. As we scan the skies, they stay hidden in the icy dark waters, their perfect lounging area. But how do these beings survive in such extreme cold, a place too harsh for humans? This amazing adaptation raises many questions about their biology and survival tactics. Their presence in Lake Baikal shows their intelligence in strategic thinking and challenges our ideas about life and its possibilities. Knowing that aliens might have made Earth's waters their home makes us rethink what we know about life beyond our planet and the hidden corners of our world. While we keep exploring the stars, it's just as important to explore the mysteries beneath the waves of our deepest lakes. These beings living quietly in our lakes show us that we might need to look closer to home to find the answers we seek. As we dream of the stars, perhaps the real wonders are right under our noses, hidden in the waters we overlook. But could it be that these entities have intentions toward humanity that we can't yet understand? What are your thoughts on this controversial possibility? Like, comment, and subscribe for more.